Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11 and in this video we begin at the tech tree where I think I really want the spark engine and my favorite ant engine and all that business. Uh, so we'll unlock that first and that'll make a few things more efficient. I don't know if we'll be able to land on the moon like that but uh, we'll see and uh, we'll start down this way with the basic science, I think. Uh, struts are there, that's nice. And they used to be much more important than they are now. And... Yeah, but I think we can do... With going down here, getting the science junior, and maybe doing some of that business as well. Okay. So, taking a look at our... Contracts, they just really want us to land on the moon and bring a stone back, perhaps. Um, explore the moon isn't finished, though, so we can get some money by orbiting the moon, and we can do some more science like that. And so we can plan on that idea. Let's load up our previous rocket to the moon. Space Hammer 3. And... Maybe... Let's see, I don't know if, uh, so, all together, vacuum specific, uh, sp va the, the vacuum delta V is 5,333, but let's say we added a spark engine, uh, spark engine into the mix, just with this last tank, like so. Okay, so now we have marginally better 5,451, but let's see if we move one of these tanks up 5,579 so we're eking out a little bit more from this but uh, what if we just use the ant engine for the top bit here we have 5,729 5, meters per second and here with the spark we get 5,579 so a difference of 150 and this is uh, 2 minutes and 37 seconds. This here is more like 25 minutes, so, hmm, yeah, I mean, it is a trade-off. Uh, you're gonna have a little bit more trouble delivering this Delta V, but a lot of the burns we'll have to do are very precise, and even if you put two, so that's still 5,695, which is still 100 better than the Spark Engine. And now we've got more like 12 minutes. We can also go with that variant, but it doesn't really help a whole lot. What we can do to make things a little bit fancier is use an Oscar B fuel tank. And this way now, this stage has a proper platform to sit on. And then we have a proper service module. And lots of burn time, granted. Granted. 15 minutes. Can we deal with that? Hmm, I don't know. Ant hammer? Maybe ant hammer? Ant hammer 1. The, uh, we want to get into orbit around the moon. Do science and then come back. That's the goal. I think we will carry some goo containers too. Let's get two mystery goo units and we can put them on the side here now. Uh, we said 80 ablator. Let's go for 100 for now. Because we didn't really return from... Well, I did add margin, but yeah, we'll just leave it be like that. So, uh, we're aiming for orbit. We have to do an orbital spacewalk and then return to Kerbin. I think we can do that. And I forgot who was on the last mission. <laughs> so, well, uh, Jeb has fly, uh, done the flyby around the moon, so Val's turn then. Okay, here we go. We'll have to pay attention to power again, but it seemed alright last time. Um, why is it only going to half throttle when my throttle is up? There we go. Worrisome. All right, SAS on, throttle is up, and launch. Nighttime launch for the first time in this series. 
Okay, and separation and ignition, and starting our pitch maneuver. Feels a little bit wobblier. That's for sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, definitely wobblier. Okay, staging. Ooh, this is a bad time for staging, actually. Okay. Could have sworn. Wow, it's scaring quite a lot more. I'm. I don't know. It's maybe okay. Maybe dodgy. This is gonna have to do the whole trip to orbit. Now, can it manage it? It looks like due to inefficiencies down the stack because of the thrust to weight ratio, using the ant engine like this might not be the best thing. We might want to shorten up the ant stage until we get better thrust to weight ratio down below. The <laughs> with the ants, we're actually losing velocity here at the moment. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, we definitely should have gotten into orbit before starting the ant stage. This is not the intended situation. Okay, definitely not the result I'm looking for here. Let's see where the moon is first. We don't have a uh, orbital periapsis yet. Um, I don't think uh, we need to worry about that. The periaps will be burning to the moon before we get to that periapsis, so. We'll just do that. Moon sighting. Alright, prograde please. And burn. Of course, this is going to be a longer burn than normal, so whether it'll be quite so accurate as far as our transfer, I don't know. Maybe we should have started earlier. This has not been the best demonstration of the superiority of the ant engine, but we'll get there. Now I feel like we're reaching the moon's orbit later, like this. I, I feel like we normally hit it right about there, and now it's hitting it about here because of the length of the burn. So we're going to go a little bit further out than normal. Well, again, I can be thankful for no TAC life support or life support system like Kerbalism. Uh, okay, well, that might still be enough. We might have delayed just enough over here. I don't know. Uh, no, I don't think so. No, nope, we just missed it. Okay, well, in which case we can just wait. <laughs> Let's see how many it takes. Uh, well, this one we're diametrically opposite. Well, yeah, we're not going to make it this time, but that's good. That means we're not in some sort of harmonic resonance with it or something. Uh, this time should be better. Okay, uh, crash course though. So... Will we have enough to make orbit and break orbit? That's a good question. Pulling our orbit out. Okay, that should be safe. We are carrying more of a load here with the goose, of course. The periapsis marker, I thought they had fixed that. I had seen that in an earlier version where the periapsis marker was in completely the wrong place. I thought that had been fixed or something. I better check my settings to see I've got like the nice high resolution textures instead of crappier ones. But that'll be in the front menu. Okay, making orbit. And this should be low over the moon now. Okay, keep. 
I'm gonna keep it like that. I want like uh, well, but breaking orbit we're gonna want to go slightly different. So maybe I'll just bring it all the way down. I hope I don't have to rescue her. I don't think we have enough to come back like this. Well, we'll see. Okay, um, we need to do an orbital spacewalk, so EVA, and EVA report, East Crater Keep, board. This should be a different biome, assuming it's not the one Jib did. Midlands Keep, and can we grab the goo? I don't know, and this is... Oh gosh, moving around hurts. Hmm, we do have the EVA propellant. But we can't use the jetpack while... grabbed on to the pod. This is a frustration. I don't know. Do we want the pod tumbling like that? Will she be able to get back in? We've got a lot of problems on this particular mission. They're not really hitting that valley, I don't think. But we can do the time warp trick. Yeah, and this is high now. Um, well, she's outside, and it's not rotating that much, so let's let go now. And we'll get the get the goo. Uh, remove data. Collect data. Yes, remove data. All right. And board. All right. Well, we managed it. I'll let it come around and we'll see. We just need to return to Kerbin, but that can go badly if we do that wrong. The Midlands again, we'll have, we'll say that, yeah. Uh, for instance, since I can't see the next patch in the patched conics, what could happen is that we do the return burn, which we technically have enough for, but it leads us to be suborbital around Kerbin, coming in at too steep an angle and we can't correct it. So... That is why I hesitate and think that maybe this might be a rescue situation after all. Darn ant engines. <laughs> I, I don't think we're getting any new biomes here unless we want to bring that apoapsis down. I'll tell you what, let's see how much money we have and see if we can get the patch conics. So patch conics visible on map yeah mission control upgrade we'll have no money though we could get the moonstone contract that'll give us an advance oh we can't get the moonstone contract because we have too many contracts okay well let's see if just the just the patch conics are good enough. Okay, well, let's see. Transcarbon injection. Yep. So what I really needed was the to be able to see that periapsis. Okay, well, Val may be coming back after all. But you can see how tight it is as far as the Delta V is concerned. Okay, 26 kilometers is my preferred altitude. And looks like we might be able to make it thanks to Patch Gonics, folks. Uh, 
Okay, uh, quickly, normal. Oh, don't hold, don't hold. We need to get rid of the service module. And off. And we want surface retrograde. Okay. Ablation is happening. Okay. Might have that contract done. Not as many biomes as I maybe wanted to get, but we didn't have the Delta V. The ant engine betrayed me! We'll have to rethink that situation. Until we get uh, more power from the lower stages. Okay, recover vessel. Okay, 68 Scions. 90 overall, so we can get one of the 90 science options. But more importantly, we got the money. Well, I shouldn't say more importantly. Science is very important. Let's get the, get the electrics. Okay. So now we have the Probodobodyne Octo. Super important. We could get the Moonstone contract. I mean, we might as well if we do the Planet Flag on the Moon thing. Where East Crater has it, so we've land, we've uh, not landed. We've uh, taken photos of it from EVA before. Maybe we should just go for East Crater now. But there's a rescue contract. You know, free Kerbals. We like free Kerbals, and we now have the Probodobodyne Octo, so we can launch the pod empty. Let's do it. Yeah, free kerbals are important to us. So, our first rescue contract. I'm concerned about the putting the Protobine Octo on top as usual. It usually works okay, but we'll see. At least I'm not particularly attached to the kerbal we are rescuing. We don't need a huge service module, so now the ant engine really does work for us and what I'm gonna do is put these like that it'd be nicer if this wasn't a hollow decoupler in this case but this will allow us to rendezvous more precisely with the Kerbal who is our target. And this provides in space 439 meters per second, which is pretty good. So maybe one thing we should do is add the Science Junior Act. You know, that would be good. Still 384 meters per second. We don't know, uh, we don't need as much a blader on this, but balance wise, I'm nervous. But I'll put 80. And rescue 1. No Kerbal. So, no thermometer this time. Solar panel instead. And we'll just make sure that doesn't protrude. That's aesthetic. So, everything is equatorial, so it's super easy. Let's see, we'll want to wait until Daffel is... I forget the exact point. I'm sure at some point I knew exactly when I would have to launch to do a direct... ...thing, but it depends on the stage times. So there's 80 seconds and there's... So that's 4 minutes and 9 seconds, and we could sort of divide up the orbit, right? It's a, let's say, 30 minute orbit. And so a quarter of it is 7.5 minutes. This is probably about 6 minutes or so. We uh, we want to be a little bit behind Daffle, I think. Daffle's in a pretty low orbit, though. That might be 4 minutes. Maybe it's not, though. No, it's probably about four minutes. All right, throttle up. And 
launch. Thankfully, the direction is easy. No inclination problems. Well, I say no inclination problems, but we could create inclination problems. And this is wobbly right now because of how we attach things to the Oscar B tank, it looks like. Same as last time. Just keep it in the circle. <laughs> keep it in the circle. Oh, staging at a bad time. Staging at a bad time. Hold it. Hold it, Terrier. You can do it. We can believe in you. We believe in you. No. No, Terrier. Uh, no, I don't want to go retrograde. I don't want to go retrograde. Okay. Well, first full flip of, well, I mean, serious flip of the series. There we go. Let's try and point straight up, I think, is our best bet at this point. Good thing we add extra Delta V. Because this is nearly a moon capable rocket. We didn't have the SRB at the bottom. Okay, it seems to be stable right there. Okay, pointing at prograde again. We can't really set. Oh, we can set Daffle as a target. Okay. It's even easier. There's Daffle. We wanted Daffle in front of us. Daffle is not in front of us, so that's the end of that stage. Now the end. So we were too early. I mean, even with a flip, we ended up uh, ahead of it. Oh, oh no! Comms! No! I forgot about comms. <laughs> it was bound to happen. Oh no. I swear we're in line. I guess it's just range. I don't know, maybe it's line of sight. We're getting a very nice encounter there, but we're not going to be able to stop the engine in time. Okay, GOM satellite time. That's what we'll have to do next time. I think I'll wrap it up here. Our first legit failure. Yep. Yep, there's no helping this one. Well, let's consummate the failure. Well, now we get comms, but... Oh, I guess... As long as we have comms... I don't know if the Mystery Goo will survive, but... Well, I guess we'll try. Uh, keep experiment. Uh, that arms the chute. I don't know if the chute will be able to bring everything back, but... And this is probably going to be explode. I wonder what happens if we go nose first. <laughs> I don't know, uh, should we go tail first and see if the science junior explodes or go nose first and see if the capsule explodes? Or the probe or the parachute, actually the parachute would be the first thing. Oh uh, well, let's go butt in first and see if we can at least recover the capsule. Um, we're probably not low enough to actually deorbit on this pass. This could actually be quite tedious. Yeah, it's already overheating like that. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's just focus on the capsule instead of the science. Oh, we lost electric charge, so there's no more RCS. Temporarily, it could recharge. Okay, that's it fully charged. SAS back on, retrograde. Can we have our first automated return of a pod? That should be an accomplishment, even if they don't give us credit for it. It could be a world's first milestone. I don't know what world's first milestones there may be. With the Science Junior, it's not a guarantee. 
that the pod would orient. I mean, we should just decouple the science junior, if not for the vague hope that I could bring it back as well. Well, no more communication now again. Uh, it's tilting worrisome, worrisomely. Sort of wish the reaction wasn't that powerful. Oh, things have happened. It's too powerful. No. I know somebody said that you don't even need a heat shield for return from lower floor. But, oh, sorry, lower criminal. Order, but that gives you a hint about why I would not do that. I just I can't bear not having a heat shield. I don't care. That's just wrong. Not that this is particularly right at the moment either, but you know, this was unintentional. Well, that's a heck of a test as far as the heat capacity of these parts, huh? Even the parachute, really. Actually, the solar panel is most surprising. You stock people have it lucky. <laughs> what can I say? When you get right down to it, what does it all mean? It means you stock people have it all lucky. Parachute out, even. Well, at least we'll get something back. It has been a fitful first use of the ant engine. Mistakes were made. Hopefully we can do the part justice in future videos, but comms, we're gonna need to do comms. So that'll be in the next video. And we still have the Kerbal to rescue and the whole landing on the moon thing to do. So we'll have to look forward to that. For now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.